Hello everyone and welcome to Beginner's Code, a place for you to learn with me as I dive deeper into the coding world. Today's video is brought to you by SiteGround. If you're looking for a place to host your website with fast and secure hosting, click the link in the description below. This is an affiliate link, so if you do, I will receive a little from this and that will help out the channel massively. The links for my website, Instagram and GitHub will all be in the descriptions as well, so please do check them out for more content and projects. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me as I teach you through the basics of Python. Today, we are going to be creating a tkinter currency converter. If you're not aware of what tkinter is, then it allows you to create a graphical user interface or a GUI for people to interact with. Okay, so to start with, we are going to import OS. Now, OS is just a uh, module that allows you to in, uh, to work with other operating systems. So next we will import tkinter. So from tkinter import all, and then from tkinter import ttk, and then from currency converter import currency converter. Next we're going to create a class called currency. So class currency and this will take in a object. So next we're going to create a initializing method, so which will take in the self parameter and a master parameter. We will then create a variable called frame and assign it to the frame class that comes with tkinter. And this will take in the parameter master as well. And then we will use the dot grid method to put the frame onto the GUI. We are then going to create, use the self, um, the self vary, uh, the self keyword, and use self dot currency, and we will assign that to currency converter, and then self dot options, and that will take in a list of different options that the user can choose. So, we will do euro, US dollar. Canadian dollar, New Zealand dollar, um, Chinese yen, um, Australian dollar, Danish, and then Great British pounds. So these will all need to be in strings. Next, we will create some labels. So self dot amount underscore label is equal to a label which takes in the root parameter and a text which says amount. We will then use the grid method on this label to assign it somewhere on the GUI and we will assign it column zero and row zero. We'll then use self.amount entry, so a new variable called amount entry which will take in the entry and also root. And then self.amountentry.grid. And this will be positioned in column one, row zero. Next, we're going to create some label frames. So these are labels that will be positioned in the frame surrounding selection choices. So, selection underscore frame is equal to label frame which also comes with tkinter and that will have taken the variable that will take in root and a text which says currencies and then we will use the dot grid method again on this and assign it to column zero row one with a column span of two. And then we will create a new label called from label, which will take in the label uh, class, the class label from tkinter, and that will take in self. And then the selection frame that we have just created here. And the text will be 
from. So these labels will be above something. So the currencies will be a, a label for the whole bulk, whereas from will be a label for the drop down menu of what, which um, currencies the user can choose from. And we will assign this, or we will place this on the grid with column zero and then row zero. And then we will do a two label as well. So the user can choose what they want the currency to be converted to. And this will be label with self dot selection frame and then text of two. And then we will use the dot grid method again to make sure that it is positioned on the GUI. This will take in column one and row one, uh, row zero, sorry. Next, we're going to make some actual drop down boxes for the user to choose from. So we will do self.from menu, and this will be assigned to ttk.combo box. Now, combo box just allows for multiple options and a, a checkbox basically. So this will take in self selection frame so that it knows that it is connected to this. And it will also take in values of self dot option, oh, not in quotes, taking values of self dot options. So when this is run, you will see these options there. And this will be assigned to the GUI by using the grid method. And we'll do column zero and row one. And then self dot from menu dot current will give it the index of one. So what this will do is it will take US dollars as the main um, active one when we run it. So US dollars will automatically be highlighted. We'll then do the two menu exactly the same way. So TTK dot combo box. And this will take in self dot selection frame and then values of self dot options. So again, we'll be given these options. And then self dot from uh, to menu, sorry. And then dot grid to position it on the grid with column one and row one and then self dot to menu dot current and we can give this one as we can give this one US dollars as well. And then we can create some result labels. So self dot result underscore label is equal to a label class which takes in the root and then a text which will just be an empty F string and you'll see why in a second. And then self dot result underscore label dot grid will be assigned to column zero and then row two with a column span of two. And then we will create the button to convert, which will be assigned to the button class that comes with tkinter. And it will take in the root and then text that just says convert. And then a command, which will be self.converter. So the converter method hasn't actually been created yet, but once it has, when the button is clicked, it will then cause the code that is within the method to be run. And finally, we will do self.convert button.grid to place it again in column zero, row three with a column span of two. Okay, so next we can move on to the actual uh, methods to convert. So still within the currency class, we will do def converter, which will take in the self parameter. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to try to do some work. So <laughs> currency underscore result is equal to round. So we're using the round method and we are assigning self dot currency and then dot convert, which will take in a couple of parameters, but we are going to cast them as a float so that they are decimal places or they can be decimal places rather than just being an integer. And then we will pass in self dot amount entry dot get. So we are getting the self, we are getting the amount that is from the amount entry or the number that has been put in into the amount entry. And then we will do self dot from menu dot get. And then self dot to menu dot get and we're going to pass it to two decimal places so what we're doing here is we're taking the amount entry which will be entered by the user and then what the from menu is chosen by the user and then the to menu that's been chosen by the user and we are going to round it to two decimal places. So next we can then do self dot result underscore label dot configure. And then this will take in text variable, which will actually be an F string for self dot result underscore label. And then self dot to underscore menu dot get. So what this is doing here is where we created the empty F string here in the result label, whatever is returned here will be put into this F string here. And then we can do an accept for value error. So if, they, if a user enters something that's not a number, so if they were to enter the letter A, for example, then we will return self.resultlabel.configure with the text saying, this is not a number. Okay, so finally, to just get this running, we can do if name is equal to, or double equal to main, and then we can do os.change directory to os.path.directory name, which will take in the real path, so os.path.realpath of file. And then we can assign root to the TK module. So everywhere you've seen the word root will actually be using the TK class. And then root.title will use currency converter so that it has the title of currency converter on the GUI. And then currency root. So the currency class that we've just created here will take in root and then or inherit from root and then root dot main loop okay and just to make sure that this worked correctly if we head over to our terminal and if i cd into where i saved it and then run python and then the file name okay so this graphic user interface opens up with the amount label here with an entry point. So if I put in 100, and then we have a currency selection box with the label from. So here are the list of options that we had. If I do from euros and then to Great British Pounds, 
converts. So 100 converts to 90.05 Great British Pounds, which seems correct. Now, if I do 100.25, it still works because it is able to take in floats. But if I did A and convert, we get value error. That's all for today's video. Hopefully you have a little understanding of GUIs and how they can be very helpful for our programs and also our users. If there's anything that you'd like me to cover further, please don't hesitate in reaching out to me by dropping a comment below on Instagram or through my website. Stay tuned as in my next video, I will be showing a little into the random module. If you liked what we've been through today and you want to learn more, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date. Thank you and see you next time.